Hello and welcome to another quick tip and this one is about wounds, critical wounds and death uh, yeah, it's going to be fun um, here I've got a nice encounter between Kirsten and Ulfitnar um, of course she's going to lose as we shall see and she's going to sustain some critical wounds in the process wounds are tracked here and your critical wounds are tracked here and this three is your toughness bonus which in her case is three three um if you sustain more than your toughness bonus a bonus in wounds for in, in her case four um nothing really happens at that point but if you gain the unconscious condition uh when you are uh, at more than your allotted amount, a maximum amount of critical wounds, um, then you die instantly. So yeah, easy peasy. Um, if you uh, heal wounds, uh, your critical wounds will not be healed unless all the uh, effects uh, that accompany it are resolved. And if you use a resolve to remove a condition, uh, for instance, when you're prone and you gain a wound, you you do not uh, gain critical wounds. And if you use a resolve to ignore critical wounds, you still not gain critical wounds. The only th way to remove these critical wounds is to resolve the effects, and sometimes that means uh, medical attention. So let's see what this all means in practice. Uh, it's Ulfitnar's turn, so he targets oop, targets her, and I don't know what this is. Uh, let's do it like this. There we go. So we won't have to click this every time. There we go. Roll, and let's do it for her as well. Uh, combat dagger. Roll. And he has one against her, and he does 16 damage, which which turns into 13. Um, 13 means uh, 11 minus 13 is minus 2. And because minus 2 is not more than her toughness bonus, um, he roll on the critical table with a minus 20. Um, with a minimal result of one, uh, which means uh, one is a um, dramatic injury, I think. A dislocated shoulder. There we go. Let's go to the effect step so you see what happens, because I can just drag and drop. Um, apparently, a dislocated shoulder needs uh, requires a endurance test, so let's do that. And she passes. And you will see that you have to pass an endurance test for gain stun in prone condition. There you go. Um, so, yeah, it, it has um, applied a dislocated shoulder. And you can see a critical wound here. Um, there we go. Just ignore this. I don't know why it does that. Uh, let's say her turn goes really badly. And it's again Elfadnar's turn. And he has one advantage now. There we go. He targets her. And he strikes with his great sword. And then she defends again. And he won again, of course. So let's apply the damage. And again, a critical sliced tendons. This is not going to be good. There we go. Uh, again, an endurance test. We roll. There you go. And you will notice a lot of effects here. Um, she has three bleeding conditions, but because she was below zero wounds, that bleeding conditions mean that she automatically becomes unconscious and prone. Um, prone, of course, she was already because when you go to zero wounds, you become prone. A um, couple of things you can do. Uh, use resolve 
to remove conditions. Uh, if you remove the prone condition, you stand up and gain one wound. Um, but this means... Let's see what this means. Let's say it's his turn and she does nothing. She doesn't have any resources anymore. And it's the end of the turn. And she will now roll. Oh, apply the bleeding. Got that. Um, yeah, she's dead. Uh, if you have bleeding conditions and you're unconscious and you're below zero wounds, apparently you die because she died from blood loss. She rolled for it. Um, below 3, 30, 30%, 16. But let's say she's not unconscious and she's not prone and we do not have the bleeding conditions because we want to continue this battle a little bit more. Come on. Uh, there we go. Uh, it's again Ulfatnar's turn. She's at two out of three critical wounds. And he targets her. There we go. She rolls. There we go. Apply damage. Again, because she's below. And a ragged wound. Let's go. There you go. Bleeding conditions again. Main. She now has three out of three uh, critical wounds. Now let's say um, she um, she again falls unconscious because um, the bleeding. Apply bleeding. See, immediately unconscious, but also because she rolled badly, uh, there you go, to roll the five. So again, she died. So if she rolled high, she would still be alive, but unconscious. So again, no, no, that she, this would be the case. Um, let's say um, for some reason, Ulfatnar is uh, leaving and the combat ends and she's lying there unconscious and somebody saves her. Uh, there you go. Remove the bleeding, remove the prone, remove the unconscious, remove the stunned condition. Um, and that person heals her to 11 wounds. The criticals still remain. As long as these things are not addressed, and she apparently has an amputated arm, um, you can see, uh, well, this one is addressed. The dislocated shoulder uh, is addressed in eight days, and the sliced tendon um, gee, 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 gee. well, that's apparently the amputated arm. So we can say that this is resolved. The ragged wound is resolved because that was bleeding and the bleeding has stopped. But the dislocated shoulder will take eight days. So she will keep this critical wound for eight days. Uh, so if she then again enters into combat, it's more dangerous for her because she still has one critical wound. So avoid critical wounds at all costs because if you got more than your toughness bonus, basically you die. Um, that's it for now, and uh, see you next time.